Welcome back to Put You On. My name is Michael. I'm here with my dad. Hey, everyone. It's Mike. And today we are listening to an album called Yay. And I'm sure you can guess hmm. who that's by. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kanye West, uh, who's gearing up for his new album. But by the time this comes out, it'll either be out or not be out. A lot of buzz happening now. A yeah. lot going on. This will be old, old news by the time this video comes out. Yeah. Um, but... Hopefully everything goes according to plan. Yeah, I'm sure by then uh, there will be an album. I mean, he's making concert appearances. He's making video releases. He's making yeah. His music video came out at the time of us recording this. Yeah, TMZ um, catching him everywhere. So he's out and about, and so we're like four albums behind before we're caught up to where he's at now. But we're gonna knock two of them off today. Hard to believe, I mean, considering the amount that I've heard already. Yeah. So this is called Yay. Um, it's from 2018. Is so, this when he decided to change his Yeah, around that identity? time when he was kind of switching to Yay instead of Kanye West. So around this time, I told you this a while back when we did the album Daytona by Pusha T. That was the album that Kanye had produced for Pusha T. Okay. So that album was a part of a string of about five albums, five albums that Kanye put out in 2018. So he produced an album for Pusha T, produced an album for Nas, and produced an album for an artist named Tiana Taylor. He then also put out this solo album, which we're going to do. And then a week after this came the collab album, which is the one I'm wearing, which is him and Kid Cudi, which is under the group name Kid Sea Ghost. So that was all within like a couple months of each other. Uh, he had moved out to Wyoming around this time, was kind of separated from everyone. When he had the listening party for this album, yay, uh, he sent out a bunch of invites to a bunch of other artists, famous people that went out to basically this middle of the nowhere field in Wyoming with like a big bonfire. And that's where he played the album for everyone and also had that live streamed. Uh, that was a crazy time too, because like, I mean, as you see now, every time he has an album coming out, he really makes, you know, it's more than just putting out the music. He always makes kind of a, there's something behind it, some sort of showing or presentation. Uh, and that was like a bunch of people just got this invite at random and on a dime, he had all these celebrities and musicians wow. just show up to the middle of Wyoming. Wow. Um, Would you say... It's a theme album? Uh, or just... I wouldn't really say it's a theme. Just random songs? Um, I mean... Or it, do I they think have a, a... I think it's a pretty personal Kanye album. So this is the follow-up to Life of Pablo, which is the last one we did. So that was 2016. This was 2018. Okay. Um, I have the records here because the covers are for both of them are very nice. So this is the cover for Ye. It's oh, one of my wow. favorites of his. And Let's see what it says. That's Wyoming, where... You know, he was living at the time. <laughs> and the cover is awesome. I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's the cover there. Um, so pr all the albums that came out in this time. So it was five albums and they were all seven tracks. Okay. So every single one was seven tracks. So yeah. Track one. I thought about killing you. Most beautiful thoughts are always besides the darkest. Today I seriously thought about killing you. I contemplated, premeditated murder. I think this is the part where I'm supposed to say something good to compensate it so it doesn't come off bad. <laughs> but sometimes I think really bad things, really, really, really bad things. And I love myself way more than I love you. I 
called up my loved ones I called up my cousins I called up the Muslims Said I'm about to go dumb Get so bright it's no sun Get so loud I hear none Scream so loud got no lungs Hurt so bad I go numb Time to bring in the drums That put her up 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 pump I'ma make my name last Put that on my last name It's a different type of rules that we obey Yeah, 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 season, nigga, we obey We was all born to die, nigga, D-O-A Niggas say they hero, mm, I don't see no cape mm, I don't see no, mm, yeah, I don't see no, mm, mm. Drop a pin for the fade and I'm on my way, hey, stop Don't get shocked in the map, you know homie don't play that Pay the five miles your bill cause the shit they get way back they wanna see me go, hey, hey, hey. All you gotta do is speak on yay. All you gotta do is speak on yay. Don't get your tooth chip like Frito Lay. Quite the turn of using a song to express his feelings. I feel like that's th that might be the most darkest I've heard him personally like candidly yeah right yeah i don't think i've heard him speak that you know like you said it's an honest it's an in-depth it's a personal album i don't know that i've heard him express that kind of stuff um and and it and it's real you know that that's it, it's almost a little uncomfortable to listen to um and he repeats it a lot too yeah, but times. but I like the thing about him is I, I he he's really he's really a unique um, person in that he, he's he's like a study in you know I, I don't know if a psychiatrist could break it down or something but he he's a he's a real interesting person in that he's he's saying that and he knows he knows. He even admits, you know, they say, don't say this, don't say that, but mm -hmm. just to get it out there, put it out there, say it. So he, he knows that what he's thinking and feeling, for him, he has to say it because if he keeps it inside, it'll, yeah. you know, it'll make him. But bold. he knows outwardly it's not going to be in a way, acceptable. In, 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 yeah. Yeah. And he. To, to the general. And he public. even, you know, comments on that. Yeah. This is probably the point where I should say something to make yeah. you feel less uncomfortable if I'm putting this on a, you know, track. Um, and then towards the end, you know, they want to see you go ape. And yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just so. That's one of the more uh, unique intros, I would say, to any of his projects. Yeah. It, it, it kind of starts right. Especially off with the, bat. the. I don't know if the what's written on the cover is a song. Um, no, it's just not on this album. That's just, yeah. The, so, so written. reading that and then going into that on the first track, you know, I've, I've heard him. I, I know we'll speak about the music for sure. I, I know I've heard him speak too, but you know, they think I'm bipolar or I, you know, they want me to take this medication. Well, he is. I, I know, but I've heard him question his own um diagnosis or who diagnosis yeah you know um and and i don't know his on medication off medication status um it it, it varies yeah and, and <laughs> yeah. not that we'll ever know you, but i mean you that's can never, any human yeah i'm just saying yeah those. you can never know what yeah. someone is you know unless they come right out and say you know i finally understand it i've been diagnosed this is what it is and i have a medicine that can help me deal with it as long as that, I think, goes on, you're you're less likely to have uh, personal trauma and, yeah. and yeah. trauma to those around you. I think that's fair, yeah. And you, you know, and I think one big thing I hear sometimes about people who um, are like bipolar and are on medication, it's when they go off that things start to, you know, they start family and friends and uh, you know, so start to say, well, you know, he was fine yesterday, but then yeah. little by little he started yeah. getting, you know, and you don't know how much they can snap, you know. Trek two is called Yikes. 
Yeah, that's she could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. She could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. Tweaking, tweaking off that 2CB, huh? Is he gonna make it TBD, huh? Thought I was gonna run, DMC, huh? I done died and lived again on DMT, huh? See, this the type of how that won't come down. This the type of how to get you gunned down. I scare myself, myself. Hey, hospital band, a hundred bands, fuck a watch. Hundred grand and make your best friends turn to ops. I hear y'all bringing my name up a not. Guess I just turn the cloud game up a notch See, y'all really shocked, but I'm really not You know how many girls I took to the titty shop If she get the ass with it, that's a 50 pop Devil been trying to make an army They been strategizing to harm me They don't know they dealing with a zombie Niggas been trying to test my Gandhi Just because I'm dressed like Amber Combi You see? You see? That's what I'm talking about that's why I fuck with Ye. See, that's my third part. That's my bipolar shit, nigga. What? That's my superpower, nigga. Ain't no disability. I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. Yeah! A lot going on. Yeah. <clears throat> Very frantic sounding again. Yeah. Um, sonically. Yeah, I, I I wish it was another uh, subject matter. Um, you know, I'm hoping that the rest of it changes. It feels like I'd be worried. Like this sounds like a cry for help album. If 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 it continues with with the subject matter, like I'd be, you know, and and not like people don't care or worry, but boy, I mean. You can hear it. You could just hear it. Like, hey, you see what I mean? You know, it's like he's yeah. trying to really impress upon you as the listener. Like, he's not imagining this stuff. And and just even, you know, like we just said, on the meds, off the meds. He, he's admitting he's got demons all around him. The last verse is good with the Prince and Mike saying he could feel Prince and Mike trying to warn him. Yeah, it's... Heavy. It's really heavy. Yeah. I mean, sounds... Good sounds upbeat. Yeah, I, I, he's I mean, he's good. still he's the rap, he's the rap master as yeah. far as I'm concerned. But he sang very serious, very telling. Yeah, uh, yeah, very serious subject shit. matter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Track three is called "All Mine." Uh, this is featuring Ty Dolla Sign, so you okay. can hear them together. Out the bottom. I'ma lose my mind in it. Crazy that Medulla Obligato get the rubbing on my lap, get the chili out the bottom. Fuck it up, fuck it up. Pussy good, gon' back it up. Pipe up, I'ma pipe up. Make your mind out and fell in love. Choose your thing, make that pussy sing. One more time, baby, do it big. Make it cry, come boo hoo this shit. Yeah, you a supermodel thing. Turn that ass, bustin' out the bottom. I'ma lose my mind in it. If I pull up with a Kerry Washington, that's gonna be an enormous scandal. I could have Naomi Campbell, and still might want me a Stormy Daniels. Sometimes you gotta bag the boss up. I call that taking Corey Gambles. Let's have a threesome, you, you and the blunt. I love your titties, cause they prove I could focus on two things at once. I'ma lose my mind in it. Crazy that my doula obligato, get the rubbing on my lap, get the chinny out the bottom. Get the chili out the bottom. Let me hit it raw like fuck the outcome. Hey, none of us would be here without come. Hey, if it ain't all about the income. Hey, let me see you go ahead and spend some. Crazy that my doula obligato. Get the rubbing on my lap. Get the chili out the bottom. Get the chili out the bottom. 
uh, <laughs> weird. Wacky yeah. song, yeah. Uh, I still, I still will give up the rapping part to him. Yeah, uh, that's more uh, like punchlines. Yeah, he used to. Which him. I mean, his his ability to take current events or current people, past people, and find a way to fit them into yeah the pop culture references. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> The titties line is funny. <laughs> Focus on two things at once. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice, it's a good placement after. Yeah. I mean, more, it, two, a couple more heavy. Right. Right. Like tracks. I said, um, I, I, you know, how I asked you if it was going to be a th thematic. Um, I, 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 I want to just hear like him, him just making songs, you know? Yeah. Um, like that. Yeah. Nothing. I, I, but I get it. I get it that he also has the the means and the ability to you know be personal. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, it's not all what could be, feel like doom and gloom. Yeah. And bring you down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he knows how to structure an album. Track four is called "Wouldn't Leave." It's featuring Party Next Door and Jeremiah. So two other vocalists. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's called uh, "Wouldn't Leave." I don't feel like she's mine enough God, I feel I couldn't have you why enough But a fly in my wrist You made pretty woman out of my skin And I don't feel like Man, I know you wouldn't leave They said build your own, I said halfway I said slavery a choice, they said hi, yay Just imagine if they caught me on a wild day Now I'm on 50 blogs, getting 50 calls My wife calling, screaming, say we about to lose it all Had to calm her down cause she couldn't breathe Told her she could leave me now, but she wouldn't Man, leave I know you wouldn't Every time something happened, they want me sentimental We had an incident, but I cover incidentals You want me working on my messaging When I'm thinking like George Jetson, but sounding like George Jefferson Then they questioning my methods in If you tweaking out on my text again, then I don't get reception here I got the mind state to take us past the stratosphere I use the same attitude that ain't got us here I live for now, I don't know what happened after here I live for now, I don't know what happened after here This is what they mean when they say for better or for worse, huh? For every damn female that's stuck with they do Through the best times, through the worst times Just for you Man, I know you Nice. Yeah. I I especially liked in the beginning how he is a master. I still believe at finding sounds and making them. You know, that was a baby, right? <laughs> making baby sounds. But he, he can take it and make it in such a way that when, when you repeat it, it sounds like, like the baby's singing. I mean, it's crazy. You know? What what baby? What are you talking about? I thought it was a baby's voice. I don't feel like she's mighty no the beginning, the middle. The end? Oh this? Oh, oh, oh. God, I feel I couldn't have Oh, that sounds like a baby to me. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean it's some sort of vocal. But I mean that's that's wild, you know? Yeah. It's a like, pretty like, song. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel gospel roots there. Um that's Ty Dolla Sign too, doing those vocals at the end. Um, another oh, uncredited. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, he's so good. I didn't know he had the singing. It's his singing is beautiful. Ability. That's why I'm so excited for this mm. album. I mean, anytime they collab, it's like they fit so well. This seems together. like a real chemistry. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice ode to, you know, I'm sure Kim. This was about at the time mm. about her sticking by his side, and, mm -hmm. which didn't age very well. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it's a nice again another very open track about yeah himself I, and I I, I felt flaws. it was childlike in a way. I mean, at the end it had little right those Cute little, little keys yeah right like like a uh, you know bedroom like a baby's bedroom kind of sounds yeah. and yeah track five is no mistakes. This is uh, has Charlie Wilson on it. Believe it or not. Make no mistake, girl, I still love you. Make no mistake, girl, I still love you. 
Take the top off, let the sun come in Whoa, for all my dogs that stay down, we up again Oh, I got dirt on my name, I got white on my beard I had dead on my books, it's been a shaky ass year Let me make this clear, so all y'all see I don't take advice from people less successful than me huh? Ain't no love lost, but the gloves off Too rich to fight you, calm down you light like skin mistake, girl, I still love you That felt like a nice, uh, for me, it felt very reminiscent of like late 60s, 70s, early mid 70s um, soul music. Um, you know, Temptations, Diana Ross and the Supremes, uh, you know, all the, all the bands that had, you know, a lead singer, Commodores even, you know, yeah. um, very nice groove. Um, the 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 biggest part I think is that hook. Is, yeah, Charlie Wilson has. Yeah, he has such an iconic, classic sounding. Yeah, voice. Min minimal verse there from Kanye, but yeah, I think overall that was a that was a showcase of his sampling. Oh, skills, which we know he's like, <laughs> you know, you can take it can and, and, and it sounds brand new. I mean, I, you know, without knowing, you know, where he finds those things, but yeah. It's a more, uh, that one's the most uplifting, you know, talking about the sun coming in and, mm, mm, you know, talking about where down. he is in his life. And track six is called Ghost Town. This is featuring Party Next Door. It's featuring Kid Cudi. And it's featuring a vocalist by the name of 070 Shake. Uh, I've mentioned her a few times throughout this channel. Um, I don't think you've ever heard her yet. She's an artist from New Jersey. That's super talented. I saw her last year in uh, Canada and Oshega. She was probably one of my favorite sets of that you entire festival. You saw 07 Oshake in Oshega? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's on this track and the next track. When I saw her, she performed both of these songs. Hmm. Um, these are two of my favorite Kanye songs ever. Uh, probably two of <laughs> the most emotional songs I'll probably get from him. So hmm. I'll try to keep it together. Someday, someday, someday I, I wanna wear a starry crown. Someday, 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 I wanna lay down like God did on Sunday. Hurry, hurry. Sunday, Sunday, I remember three songs. Sunday, back way, yeah, way, way, better. Uh, Sunday, I want to take a fight. Sunday, I've been trying to make you love me. But everything I try just takes you further from me. Someday we gon' set it off. Someday we gon' get this off. Baby, don't you bet it off. On a path of fan and all. You might think they wrote you off No half-truths, just naked minds Caught between space and time This now with the word in mind But maybe someday I've been trying You sang great there <sighs> Yeah to Fucking Kid Cudi <laughs> me. Whenever him and Kanye get together It's just <laughs> it's unfair but everything I try this takes you further from me Whoa. Once again I am a child I let go, go of everything that I know We 
Interesting. I liked um, how the um, when that when that verse came in, how the, the the drums sounded like they were you know the start of like a firework going off, like poof, and then, yeah, you know, you hear, <clears throat> like you'd hear like poof, and then you'd hear something else like yeah, they're massive. They're yeah, like very rattling massive. in the distance. Yeah, it really sounds like bombs of fireworks going, and then all the little laser that kicked in. I I like how he appreciates. Um, instruments and and not um, like that electric guitar is you know oh, the, the times awesome. it came in yeah they were they were great and like in and in a, I could see a rap artist thinking initially like nah that sounds too rock you know I'm not gonna throw that in there but I you you really get the sense that he uses the instrument as the as the tool for the sound yeah. It doesn't matter how he gets it, whether it's synth. I know he's not synth heavy, but he can take an instrument like the electric guitar right there and make it sound. What did you think of her singing, her voice? Oh, her, and, uh, very nice, yeah, very I pretty. Her. Yeah, I, I, I'd say his was even better. Yeah. I, there was not one auto-tune when he sang. It was might be the purest I've heard him sing. Very, very raw vocals from yeah, him. Yeah. And Kid Cudi's hook is yeah Great, as always whenever they work together it's the closing track is called violent crimes this is featuring 070 shake again ty dollar sign again um and it was co-produced by kevin parker tame apollo falling dreaming talking in your sleep i know you want to cry all night he has a he has an ear for the chi- for the childlike voices yeah. to defend all of your violent when he can't do it well there's a reason specifically okay. they gotta repeat the colors the law is wearing off reality is upon us colors dripping off colors dripping off niggas is savage niggas is monsters Niggas is pimps, niggas is players Ten niggas had daughters, now they precautious Father forgive me, I'm scared of the karma Cause now I see women as something to nurture Not something to conquer I hope she like Nikki, I make her a monster Not having menages I'm just being silly, I answer the door like Will Smith and Martin Nigga, do we have a problem? I pray your bodies drink more like mine and not like your mommy's. Just being salty, but niggas is nuts. And I am a nigga, I know what they want. I pray that you don't get it all at once. Curves under your dress, I know it's pervs. All on the net, all in the comments, you wanna vomit. That's your baby, you love her to death. Now she cutting class and hanging with friends. You break a glass and say it again. She can't comprehend the danger she in. If you whip her ass, she moving with him. Then he whip her ass, you go through it again but how you the devil rebuking the sin next should be off the collars and then at the altar because she know that niggas is savage niggas is monsters niggas is pimps niggas is players to niggas had daughters niggas is pimps niggas is players to niggas had daughters don't you go up in a hurry your mama be worried oh it was all part of the story even the scary nights, thank you for all of the glory. Colors dripping love. Colors dripping love. I'm saying it like. I want a daughter like Nikki. Oh man, I promise. I'm going to turn her to a monster, but no menages. I don't know how he's saying it, but. 
Let him hear it is. Hmm. Yeah. What a track, huh? You can't be a dad of a daughter and not have that uh, tug at your heartstrings. <laughs> Got me. I wasn't expecting to. I don't think I've ever gotten that way on a Kanye song. Maybe, maybe his mom won, but yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, that verse is. I'm trying to keep looking up here. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, to to tie in such a beautiful verse with O Seven O Shake and Ty just singing you to the outro. It's yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful. Track. He knows what he. You're, you're right. He just. He knows how to mold a song. Yeah. And, you know, seven tracks. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I will throw away, not throw away, but I'll I'll give up the first two for the rest of the album. It gets it, it, a it, lot it, yeah, deeper. I, 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 yeah, less, I feel less, less, we got to have to wait. Yeah. The mom's walking in. <laughs> six off. She said she'd be early. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about now. It's uh, you know, it, it it's usually made fun of, you know how how dads are protective of their daughters, like even with the you know the Martin and, the, and that that's hilarious, but the feelings behind it are are real, really real, um, you know, like like I could even tie that back to the first one, like I thought of killing somebody today, like I can remember when the girls were teenagers, like man, if anything like that happens, like what I did. You know, because I know how guys are. Like I, I, you know, I, 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 I almost felt like I couldn't be held responsible if I, you know, was to. That that's how much you feel. That's yeah. how much you feel. Yeah. And not that it's you know it's just different with boys, but I, I, I get you know I can't speak from like a mother to a son, but you know sons really really love their mothers. <laughs> yeah. As like he did with his mom, yeah. That there's no doubt about it. You know, being strong, and the hopeful message there of staying together in between. You know, the in between song of um, wouldn't leave. Yeah, that was nice. I remember like that day it came. It was a Friday. Yeah, came out. He put it out at like eight a.m., mm. which you know, again, just a Kanye thing. Pretty mm. much every artist in the industry will put that put it out midnight Thursday night. Oh yeah, standard yeah, release, yeah. not Kanye. He puts it out he whenever wants he to wants. Enjoy it for the whole day. No, he just puts it out at random. Yeah, right. <laughs> like the last album, Donna came out on Sunday, like one p.m. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Just uh, but it, it was it was the right after we had gotten to school, so it was our first period that this came out, and our whole table like stopped what they were doing, and it was great because our first period teacher, my senior year, didn't care at all. He just wanted us to show up, and we got A's. <laughs> so we all stopped and. Put our headphones on and we're all listening to it mm, and mm. then i remember even in the parking lot like having multiple people mm. you could hear it like pe everyone was blasting it out of their cars because everyone was driving off for the long weekend listening to this album i mean i don't know it's something i love about music that we talk about a lot is like yeah that's something connection. i'm never gonna forget as I, old as i get anytime i go back to this album it's the, gonna be you hear any time, song on this album time. you're gonna it'll bring you right back to yeah that. and then one week after he Surprise! He surprised yeah. everyone with another collab album with Kid Cudi. So it was like it, he was just nonstop it, that year. It's the art form that I think makes us as human beings that we are. Whoever invented music or figured out how to make instruments, or, you know, uh, it, 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 wiggly. No air. matter who you are, you could be the most pathological, you know, psychopath. Even if you like heavy metal or headbanging stuff, whatever yeah. it is, you find your. You find the what thing that, that really yeah. tugs you. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a great music album. is great. Yeah, this and was I, this was good. I, I I think the title is appropriate too. Just it's almost like a self titled. It's just kind of giving you. I'm, a I'm lot glad. Of, I'm glad it was just. I'm glad it him. wasn't thematic, and it was just, just, just is just him being him. Yeah, talking about personal feelings and. And then also showcasing his rap. Yeah, I really loved how he sang on. Um, Ghost Town. Oh, and from that young age, he's not only transitioned and adapted, he, he, he manages to get better and better. Yeah. Which is hard to do if you think about like the first three well, or four. <laughs> I mean, the first, yeah. Oh my God. I mean, right. He started so, off with three classic albums. Bang. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Instant. That was instant over 20 smashes, years ago. 
Right. And now he's still finding a way to, to reinvent his sound. And it's and, not just about trying to sound young or, uh, you know, or try to or, or be, be retro here and yeah, yeah. Or, or be somebody like of the times it's he makes what's happening yeah he creates he the creates sound the sound of the, of the of, <laughs> yeah. of, it'll probably like if whatever happens in 2024 unless it's a huge flop it'll probably be on everybody's no and if he tours along with it oh forget it smash year for him good for him but it's it's every time though every yeah, time yeah. there's an album cycle right it it's it shifts you're not going to have the conversation of oh he's a 30 some odd guy trying to sound like he's 17 or you know he's if if anything it'd be the opposite it's like wow he's only 17 and he sounds like he's had a life that of a 30 something year old how yeah. does he how does he know how to convey that yeah. he just he just does it doesn't matter how he knows he's he's gifted and and like he said, it's you. You may see it as a curse. He he sees it as a superpower and a super blessing. Power, yeah, that's a great part. It is with his little it scream. Is. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's, it's terrific. Yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah. Oof. <laughs> Gypsy Ghost will be right after this. If you want to watch that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the videos, we have a whole bunch of other kind of videos. Do we have to change. Do we have to change clothes. Nah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm telling them it's back to me. Okay. So. Uh, so yeah, if you're seeing this and it's your first time, you can go back. We did all of Kanye's old videos, except, uh, albums, except, except for late registration. We got bumped. Due to copyright. But that's over on Patreon. If you want to go watch that, along with other bonus content from Kanye and a bunch of other artists. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week with a new album and new video. Peace.